we cover a lot of environmental issues here at, at Hatfield. The availability of sustainable resources, extraction of energy from the ocean, and just our general understanding of coastal processes. All of those different problems need the type of work that we do here. I'm the director of the Hatfield Marine Science Center, part of Oregon State University. I work in the Plankton Laboratory at Hatfield Marine Science Center. My role is to analyze plankton imagery data and prepare our Ethioplankton Imaging System to collect real-time image data. Our original way of, of capturing the data was on small hard drives, and each of those would have to be hand-carried to our computing center. Even there, the transfer to each CPU was a very slow process, on the order of, of weeks to months. At no point is it truly redundant, and you don't know, well, was it just part of the batch? Was it a whole batch? There's just a lot of cost and time involved in you know, moving data in that fashion. My role is essentially to make computing as seamless and easy as possible for all of our researchers. So the CGRB has built this computational infrastructure over the last 15 years. This infrastructure represents about $4 million worth of investment. That's one of the 60 hard drives that we receive. <laughs> it's a process, man. <laughs> we provide both lab and computing resources to 26 departments at Oregon State University. So we were looking at about 60 terabytes of data every week that the boat actually goes out. We have two camera systems, and we run that uh, imaging system for five hours, and we're collecting continuous images for all those five hours. That gets paired with GPS data and satellite data that we have uh, aboard the ship as well. If we start to move into the 4K range of video, at no point do we want the actual collecting to outpace our downstream analytics. To process that in a very short time frame means that I have to consume all of the center or Oregon State University's resources to accomplish that in a short time. So we've had to extend the processing time to reduce the impact across those 26 departments. With the new device, we can transfer data directly to it. There's no intermediate step. There's no client that has to operate the process. We're able to just compress the amount of time and make the flow of data more direct. The Amazon solution here that we're looking at um, will help us offload a bunch of that data in one fell swoop and potentially place it into the Amazon Glacier storage mechanism allowing us to reinvent our primary storage space. We're also able to take primary data sets and push them up to Amazon and take advantage of a lot more cores and a lot more throughput. Our time frame in analysis is going from months to years down to weeks to even days. By reducing the time frame to process into a one week window, we can have multiple groups be taking multiple trips each year returning $30,000 into 15 runs rather than one run. This solution from AWS will help us do the science in a much faster uh, and meaningful way.